Shabbat Shalom, everybody. We are very glad to see you here for very, very many reasons. Um, for one is, we're just excited to be worshiping in the sanctuary again. We have been renovating this room on one level for over six years, but we actually started deconstructing in May, and we've been surviving in various kinds of temporary situations in the building since then, and it's wonderful to be back in our sanctuary. It really does feel kind of holier. It feels more spiritual, and that's partially due to the fact that it feels more spiritual in here with the renovation. We're very proud of this. But I need to ask you to uh, kind of bear with us a little bit because it is the first big Saturday morning we have ever done in this building, in this room, in, this, in the renovated sanctuary. It is, are you gonna say something about this later or no? So sure. we, we were hoping to have the sanctuary done in time for, where's Andrew? Andrew's bar mitzvah in October and it wasn't done. And then we figured, well, it'll definitely be done by November for Renee's bar mitzvah, where's Renee? And then we figured it was absolutely gonna be done by January for Rachel's bat mitzvah, and it wasn't. And so out of everybody, I think that Lauren was the most surprised to be the first one to do a bat mitzvah in the renovated sanctuary. We were all surprised, so we are kind of working through things here. One of the things that I'll show you later, but one of the things that we used to have if you've never been here before or if you forgot what it looked like, is we didn't have aisles along the, the wall and we didn't have a center aisle. We had two aisles here. So we have to figure out exactly how to march with the Torahs now, with this new configuration. It's things you wouldn't have thought about that we have to work out, but we'll see. So bear with us, we'll try to make this work. And, uh, and we're very excited to be worshiping in here. We have a significantly improved sound system. Hopefully everybody can hear us. Can you hear us wherever you are? Is that cool or what? Can you kind of understand us? That's cool. And, uh, and we also have we are live streaming the service right now. There's a camera back there, so it's getting the backs of your heads. Um, but it's going to have Lauren so that people can watch this again later. Um, and so that in the future, if we have people who want to be sharing with us but can't get out, so people in nursing homes or shut-ins or people who live far away, they can be kind of participating with us simultaneously. And we're looking forward to ways that we can utilize that. But meanwhile, for some of you, this is the first time in our worship service. And we hope that you are going to have a comfortable spiritual service. We like to think that this is a house of prayer for all people and that there shouldn't be anything that we say today that you're not gonna say, I could say amen to that or amen or whatever you say. So we think that you'll find that the service is comfortable. Lauren has been training for a long time to be able to lead you in this worship experience. It's not a it's not a show. She's good at shows, but it's not a show. She, it is a, a worship experience, and she's ready to lead you in that. I do some of it, but, um, but she'll do a big bulk of it. So if you've never used the book before, there are two colors of books. You have in front of you the light gray covered book, which means that it's going to open and move around just like an English book. If you notice, when you open to any page, the numbers are at the bottom center of the page. So if you wanna feel like you're reading a Hebrew book, then you get the dark cover book like I have and Lauren has, and it's the exact same words and the exact same pages. They just bind it on this side instead of on this side and poof, you have a Hebrew reading book. Most of the service will be in English though. And the parts that are in Hebrew will have transliteration, which is what I like to call, looks like English, sounds like Hebrew. You are welcome to try the transliteration with us or immediately following the transliteration in almost every single spot except one, we will have, and that's this, the first prayer that Lauren will be leading. There's no translation for that in that part of the book, but other times there's always an English translation. So you're welcome to look at what the English is instead of trying to do the transliteration, whatever you prefer. We would love to have you join us, have your voices join our voices in this worship space. You will see that some parts of it are italics and the editors of the prayer book had set the parts for italics, hoping that the congregation would participate in those. Uh, but that's up to you. Uh, we have parts where we stand and we sit. If you see people standing, you're welcome to stand. If your body is good at standing and sitting down, if not, it doesn't hurt our feelings if you stay seated. Um, we like to think you're standing with us in spirit. <laughs> 
I think we've explained most of what you need to know about how to follow along with the service, and I will explain more as we get into the service. You notice there are those little bags at your feet? I'll explain that. Don't open them until later, but I'll explain that later. We begin on page 103. We thank you, God, for this time of prayer when we become conscious of your presence and place before you our desires, our hopes, and our gratitude. This consciousness, this inner certainty of your presence is our greatest blessing. God, bless our worship this day. May the gleams of your light, the visions of your truth, which bless us here, abide with us when we go out into the world keeping us steadfast in loyalty to you and your commandments. Amen. We now turn to page 108, and Lauren will lead us in the service. Ready? Breathe. Yit gadal vi kada shme raba. Amen. Ba'al madi rachirute, v'am lich malhute, b'chayechon Amen. Amen. Vit Adar, Vit Aled, Vit Alam, Shmei de Kudisha, Brichu, Le Elami Kobera Tarishata, Tushbicha Tavene Emata, Dami Hiran Bealma, Vimiru, Amen. Brichu et Adonai, Hamevora. Baruch Adonai HaMevorach Le'olam Va'ed We praise you, eternal God, sovereign of the universe. Your mercy makes light to shine over the earth and all its inhabitants, and your goodness renews day by day the work of creation. How, How manifold are your works, O God. In wisdom you have made them all. The heavens declare your glory. The earth reveals your creative power. You form light and darkness, bring harmony into nature and peace to the human heart. We praise you, O God, creator of life. Deep is your love for us, abiding your compassion. From of old, we have put our trust in you, and you have taught us the laws of life. Be gracious now to us that we may understand and fulfill the teachings of your word. Enlighten our eyes in your Torah that we may cling to your mitzvot. Unite our hearts to love and revere your name. We trust in you and rejoice in your saving power, for you are the source of our help. You have called us and drawn us near to you in faithfulness. Joyfully, we lift up our voices and proclaim your unity, O God. In love, you have called us to your service. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kedvot Malchuto Le'olam Va'ed Ve'ahavta Et Adonai Elohecha, Bechol Nevavcha, Ubechol Nafshecha, Ubechol Neodecha, Vehayu Hadvarim Haele, Asher Anachim Misabecha, Hayom Alevavecha, Vishinantam Levanecha, Vidibartabam. Bushitecha bevetecha, uvelechtecha va derech, uveshoch becha, uve kumecha, ukshartam leot, al yadecha, vehayulit totefot, 
בין עיניך וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובשעריך למען תזכרו ועשיתם את כל מצוותי והייתם קדושים לאלוהיכם אני אדוני אלוהיכם אשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים להיות לכם לאלוהים אני אדוני אלוהיכם You shall love your eternal God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your being. Set these words which I command you this day upon your heart. Teach them faithfully to your children. Speak of them in your home and on your way, when you lie down and when you rise up. Bind them as a sign upon your hand. Let them be symbols before your eyes. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Be mindful of all my mitzvot and do them. So shall you consecrate yourselves to your God. I am your eternal God, who led you out of Egypt to be your God. I am your eternal God. Eternal truth it is that you alone are God, and there is none else. May all the world rejoice in your love and exult in your justice. Let them beat their swords into plowshares. Let them beat their spears into pruning hooks. Let Let nation not lift up sword against nation. Let them study war no more. You shall not hate another in your heart. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Let the stranger in your midst be to you as the native, for you were strangers in the land of Egypt. From the house of bondage we went forth to freedom. So let all be free to sing with joy. <laughs> חדשה שבחו גאולים לשמך אספת הים יחד כולם הודו והמליכו והאמרו אדוני ימלוך אדוני ימלוך לעולם ועד Our Redeemer is God Most High, the Holy One of Israel. Baruch Atah Adonai Ga'al Yisrael. We praise you, O God, Redeemer of Israel. Adonai Sifai Tai Tiftach Ufi Yagi Tehilatecha Eternal God, open my lips that my mouth may declare your glory. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו ואלוהי אבותינו ואמותינו, אלוהי אברהם, אלוהי יצחק ואלוהי יעקב, אלוהי שרה, אלוהי רבקה, אלוהי לאה ואלוהי רחל, האל הגדול, הגיבור והנורא, אל עליון, גומר חסדים טובים. וקונה הכל, וזוכר חסדי אבות ואמהות, ומביא גאולה לבני בניהם, למען שמו באהבה, מלך עוזר ומושיע ומגן. ברוך אתה אדוני, מגן אברהם ועזרת שרה, אתה גיבור לעולם אדוני. מחיי הכל אתה רב להושיע, מכלכל חיים בחסד, מחיי הכל ברחמים רבים. שונך נופלים ורופא חולים, ומתיר הסורים, ומקיים אמונתו, לישי נאפה. בעל גבורות ומדום הלך מלך ממית ומחייב ומצמיח ישועה 
Eternal is your might, O God. All life is your gift. Great is your power to save. With love you sustain the living. With great compassion give life to all. You send help to the falling and healing to the sick. You bring freedom to the captive and keep faith with those who sleep in the dust. Who is like you, mighty one, author of life and death, source of salvation? We praise you, O God, the source of life. We sanctify your name on earth, even as all things to the ends of time and space proclaim your holiness, and in the words of the prophet, we say, Kadosh, 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 Adonai Tzivaot, Source of our strength, sovereign God, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You alone are our God and our creator. You are our ruler and our helper. And in your mercy, you reveal yourself in the sight of all the living. I am your eternal God. generations we will make known your greatness and to all eternity proclaim your holiness your praise O God shall never depart from our lips Baruch Adonai Ha'el HaKadosh we praise you eternal one the holy God God, God of our fathers and our mothers, may our rest on this day be pleasing in your sight. Sanctify us with your mitzvot and let your Torah be our way of life. Satisfy us with your goodness, gladden us with your salvation, and purify our hearts to serve you in truth. In your gracious love, eternal God, let your holy Sabbath remain our heritage, that all Israel, hallowing your name, may find rest and peace. We praise you, O God, for the Sabbath and its holiness. Eternal God, establish this sanctuary dedicated to your holy name so that the worship offered within its walls may be worthy of your greatness and your love. May every heart which seeks your presence here find it, as did our people in the temple on Zion, that this house may be a house of prayer for all peoples. Hear our prayer. Have compassion upon all the house of Israel. Preserve us from sickness, from war, <coughs> from strife. Keep us from hatred and uncharitableness toward our neighbors. 
and grant that dwelling in safety and walking in uprightness, we may enjoy the fruit of our labors in peace. God, our teacher, hear our prayer and bless it. Be with all who spend themselves for the good of humanity and bear the burdens of others, who give bread to the hungry, clothe the naked, and provide shelter for the homeless. Establish, O oh God, the work of their hands and grant them an abundant harvest of the good seed they are sowing. God, our Redeemer, hear our prayer and bless us. Bless our children, O oh God, and help us to fashion their souls by precept and example, that they may ever love the good and turn from evil. Revere your teaching and bring honor to their, peop to their, and bring honor to their people. May they guard for future ages the truths revealed to our ancestors. God, our friend, hear our prayer and bless us. We give thanks for the freedom that is ours, and we pray for those in other lands who are persecuted and oppressed. Help them to bear their burdens and keep alive in them the love of freedom and the hope of deliverance. Uphold also the hands of our brothers and sisters in the land of Israel. Cause a new light to shine upon Zion and upon us all, that the time may come when your Torah will go forth from the house of Israel, your word from the tents of Jacob. We praise you, our God, whose presence gives life to our people Israel. We gratefully acknowledge that you are our God and the God of our people, the God of all generations. You are the rock of our life, the power that shields us in every age. We, we thank, thank you and sing your praises for our lives which are in your hand, for our souls which are in your keeping, for the signs of your presence we encounter every day, and for your wondrous gifts at all times, morning, noon, and night. You are goodness, your mercies never end. You are compassion, your love will never fail. You have always been our hope. Praise, Praise be, be the eternal God, God to whom our thanks be due. A prayer of peace on page 122. Sim, 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 shalom, sim. Sim, sim, shalom, sim, 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 shalom, tova uveracha. Sim, 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 shalom, sim, 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 shalom, sim, 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 shalom, tova uveracha. This is your part. Ya la 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 la, ya la la. Ya la 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 Ya la 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 ya la la Ya la la ya la 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 Told ya Sim 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 Shalom Sim 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 Shalom Sim 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 Shalom Tova Uveracha Do your part again Ya la 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 ya la la Ya la 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 ya la la ya la 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 ya la la ya la la ya la 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 la. You could try my part. Sim, 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 shalom. Good. Sim, 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 shalom. Sim, 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 shalom. Tova uveracha. We come here to pray together, we come here to celebrate. But if you came to talk to God, up until now all the words we gave you are words that other people put in our mouths. I love this part of the service because this is a time when you get to take the words that are in your hearts and pray to God privately and silently. We take a moment for silent prayer. Say shalom bimroma who ya say shalom aleno ve al kol israel ve imru imru amen Shut 
I think I mentioned my secret yesterday is that I never used to have a pickup on the guitar, so you can hear every single note that I play, <laughs> and it's very stressful. I'm sorry <laughs> to say that. But the other thing that I should have mentioned to you is that because this building was not finished until last week, this part of the building wasn't finished, Lauren hasn't had a chance to rehearse in this room very much. Usually we have two months of rehearsing in the space where she's got to do this. And she's only had a, f a few minutes in some sense. <laughs> we did as much as we could squeeze out of this week. But um, I'm very proud of the job she's doing so far. Mm -hmm. The next part is in some sense the most important part. We will have our Torah service. Before we get to Torah service, I can't forget, our hearts and our prayers turn to those who are ill and recuperating as we turn to the inside back cover of the prayer book. Included in our prayers today for healing for our congregational family are Virginia Branch, Naomi Brody, Sylvia Cole, Glenn Ellis, Shirley Eltis, Jill Fixler, Tracy Gold, Val Gold, Betty Grant, Susan Israel, Sister Mary Joan, Jada Wynn, Justin Rutkowski, Shirley Seligman, Joanne Smith, Bob Sussman, Jennifer Toys. If you have other names that you would like us to add to our prayers, I invite you to do so. Just call out any name. And Will, I want you to get better fast. For all these names that we said out loud, for all the names we choose to hold in our hearts and not say out loud, we pray together. O oh God, in, in our, our hearts, hearts we name those who are facing illness and pain. We join, we join our, our prayers with the, with the prayers of all who love them. them. Give them, them renewed comfort, comfort and courage. And courage. Strengthen in them the healing powers you have placed within us all. Guide the hands and hearts of those who are entrusted with their care. May the knowledge of your love and ours give added hope to them and to their dear ones. May they find even greater strength because our prayers are linked to theirs. Baruch Ata Adonai, Rofe HaCholim. We praise you, eternal God, the source of healing and health. And it has become our tradition in our congregation to add, Mishaberach Avotenu V'Imotenu, May the one who blessed and protected our ancestors guard all those whom we have entrusted with the responsibility of defending our freedom and protecting us in this country, in the land of Israel, and everywhere they have been called to serve. May they return home safely and let us say, Amen. Amen. So now we have our Torah service. There are people from the family who Lauren has chosen to honor. So if you see people getting up all of a sudden, don't worry because she didn't like we're not randomly picking people and you're next. <laughs> it makes people nervous. The people who are getting up are nervous enough for all of us. 
<laughs> See? And that's okay. Honors do that. You know how excited she is today. Now you have to feel a little bit of how excited you can be to it. Shares the excitement. We are very, what did we say? Going around the circle? Is that what we said? Yeah. Okay, all the way up? Okay. <laughs> I don't remember. We tried all kinds of configurations. A number of things to know. The Torah is the, the scroll. It refers to a number of things. It can mean the five books of Moses. It can mean the scrolls on which the five books of Ro Moses were written. We have two of them in this ark. We have one on display on the hall on your way to the Lefkowitz Hall where we'll have the luncheon. And that one is a, a special one to us because it was saved from the Holocaust and you should look at the story. The Torah that Lauren has chosen to read from. She has a choice of four Torah scrolls that we have in the building. The one she chose to read from is the tallest and the oldest. We understand that it was written in the 1200s. It takes a scribe a year to write it and to write any Torah. And this one is just magnificent, but it's the biggest one also. So I'm going to warn you ahead of time. The panels are, you know, like the paragraphs you just had to read were about this big. The panels are like this big. So she gets to the end of one line and she's got to go all the way over here and find the right beginning of the next line. And she's doing a really good job of it. But I'm just warning you that if she looks like she's stuck, it's because she's finding the word at the other end. Um, we, so the words of the Torah are we, in, in some sense we say, in the Jewish tradition we say we're given to Moses at Mount Sinai. And the words themselves are holy. God's name is in the Torah. So we show respect to the words. When the ark is open, we stand. When the Torah is up, you stand as well. It's kind of like when a venerated person is in the room. And so we will march around the room. And what you'll see is part of the reason we do that is, although we store the Torah in an ark to keep it safe and protected, we also show that the Torah is ours. The words were given to us not to keep it locked up in some lovely closet, but to, it's part of our lives and it's something that we cherish. So we take the Torah and we march it around and we show it's part of our lives. And so you will see some people, no one is obligated to do this, but to show that these words are important, you will see some people taking the prayer book, touching the Torah, kissing prayer book. If they're wearing a tallit, a prayer shawl, they'll use a tallit sometimes to touch and kiss. If you don't have a Torah, a, a tallit or a prayer book, you can, you're allowed to touch the Torah, it's okay. You can touch it with your fingers and kiss. Now the problem is that if we're going up that way and coming back down this way, there are a whole bunch of people kind of in the middle that aren't close enough necessarily to get out. And I'm warning you that we're going that way. So you may want to squeeze out and get to a side, but there's also, I need you to stand up, come over here. We have to demonstrate. There's also something that I like to call Torah electricity. So if I get to touch the Torah and I kiss, then if I touch her book and kiss, she can pass that Torah electricity all the way down the line. <laughs> so if you can't touch it and you want to touch it, just hold up your finger or your prayer book and whoever was closest to the Torah will pass that kiss along to you. It works, but you're not obligated to do this. But for those who are doing it, I wanted to explain what was going on. We will take the Torah, we pump and circumstance around, we'll undress the Torah. I'm gonna point out, because this is the first time we're getting to use this in a service, one of the really cool features of this, there's a lot of cool features in our sanctuary, but one of the cool features in our sanctuary is that normally the bima, the high area, the, the pulpit area, is cluttered with a lot of furniture. And one piece of furniture is something that sits there just as a stand to hold the parts of the Torah when you're reading the Torah for it to be somewhere. And we did not want to clutter this magnificent view because this is Jerusalem stone and we feel as if we're in Jerusalem, standing at the Western Wall. It's the same quarry that quarried those stones. We took a picture of the Western Wall and we have an actual replica of the way the stones are in the wall. We didn't want to muck it up with all of this furniture and stuff in front. So we designed this really cool thing where on either side of this, we have these hidden secret drawers. And when you pull out the drawer, this is where we will hang the Torah parts. You got it? Okay. We're gonna be on this side, but I wanted to show off that side too. You got it? So we will, you can leave that out. So we will have, the Torah will be on there. And then when it's done, you won't even see it again. And poof, you have the view again. So that's something we're really proud of. It's one of the few unique things to our sanctuary that we just invented. Um, and we'll get to see today if it works or not, because <laughs> <laughs> we are hoping, um, I think so. Uh, and it was, it was tricky kind of getting the, we, all of a sudden we realized that we're putting the Torah up against a, a stone wall, that's kind of, so we've got it angled right, it's really cool. So that's going to happen and be ready for that. 
Then towards the end of the service of the Torah reading, in addition to the Torah reading, Lauren will read the Torah in Hebrew. She will then translate it into English after she's finished reading it, after we lift the Torah and sit it down and dress it again. And then after the Haftarah reading is finished, I will show you when. You're going to take the little packets that are at the corners on the floor by your seats, and you're going to open them up, and inside the packet, this is not uh, inside the packet, I know you're worried, wondering, but inside the packet are very soft candies for gently, and I really mean this, gently tossing at Lauren to remind her that learning is sweet. It's not a punishment for doing a good job. <laughs> it is not an intermission snack for you. This is supposed to be something that you will gently toss at her. Now, here's the scary part. We thought, and by popular demand, that we should have stained glass on the bima as inspiration. We weren't thinking about people gently tossing at the bima. So please be very, very careful. Make sure it's softball-esque throws, not baseball. Was that good? Did that help? Okay. Gently tossing. I will show you when to open up your packages. Don't open them yet. I will give you an indication. I will also, you'll notice the sign will be, I'm going to get up, I'm going to take the Torah away because I don't want you gently tossing at the Torah. I'm going to hide, and when you see me disappear, that will be your sign to gently toss at Lauren. Not hurting her, no concussions today. So <laughs> that's what this is for, and it's a sweet thing to do. I hope I covered what I had to because I want to get on with this. She's ready. Yes. So, <laughs> exactly. So we turn to page 141. I am going to ask the sisters, Sharon, Irma, and Goldie, to please come up while we do this part. And we turn to page 141. And we'll be flipping back and forth a little bit here. Assembled at a mountain, our people, still bent from oppression, found you, found your Torah, found your truth, and embrace the destiny that has shaped worlds. Help us to shape the world according to your will. Help us to teach and to learn, to hear your word anew, and to find in it our path to goodness and truth. We turn to page 142 in the middle of the page. As the ark is open, please rise. Let us declare the greatness of our God and give honor to the Torah. House of Jacob, come, let us walk by the light of our God. O magnify the eternal one with me. Together let us exalt God's name. We turn back to page 141 on the bottom as we sing for our professional. <laughs> Shall 
goes on this chair. Thank you. Oh yeah, I know we got here. Thank you. You may be seated. Take a deep breath. You're shaking more now than you were when you started. Cut it out. Breathe. This is the easy part. You could do this in your sleep. Am I right? Probably. I bet you have been doing it in your sleep. Everybody, take a deep breath. (laughs) So you looked at the Hebrew in your books. If you've never read Hebrew before, you recognize which part was Hebrew. The dots and dashes that are underneath the letters, those are vowels, those are punctuation. None of that is in the Torah. I really encourage you to look at that Torah scroll down there because it's hard to believe that she can read like this um, because there's no helpful hints in here about what vowels she's supposed to say or where the phrases end or where the sentences end or where the, well, some paragraphs. <laughs> and she's doing a wonderful job with this. But she knows that the obligation is that it's not that every person is obligated to read the Torah out loud, but every person is obligated to listen to the Torah. So she knows it's her responsibility to read this out loud for you to understand it. And I think you will when she reads it especially in English, but that's okay. We're calling up first, our first Aliyah is a great uncle, Joel. You got this side. She's gonna show you your first word for kissing. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Le'olam Vahed Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Le'olam Vahed Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Bacher Bonu Mikahamim Venatan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Amen We need you to hold that side Ve'im nefesh ki techeta va'asta achat miko mitzvot Adonai asher lo ta'asena v'lo yada va'ashem v'nanisa avono v'hevi ayel t'min min hatzon ba'er kacha la'asham al el hakohen v'chi per alav hakohen al shigig gato asher shigag v'hevi v'hu lo yada v'nislach Lo, Asham hu Asham Asham Ladanai. That's your word. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Nata Lanu Torat Emet V'chaye Olam Nata B'Tochinu Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Amen. Kiss. Kisses and hugs. Yeshikach. Yeshikach. Mazatov. We now call Papa <laughs> <laughs> Elliot. <laughs> what? He made he made you look uh, what? You can do this. It's hard to do this for a grandchild, isn't it? <laughs> so here's your first word. Here's your first word. Kissing. Close up. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch Adonai Hamvorach 
Elam Valed, Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Asher Bachar Banu Mikah Amim, Benos Hanlanu Estoraso, Baruch Ata Adonai, Nosein Ato Ra. Amen. Viedaber Adonai, El Moshe Lemor, Nefesh Ki Techeta, Uma ala ma'al badonai, v'chichesh ba'amito, b'fikadon, o vitshumet yad, o v'gazel, o ashak, et amito, o matzah, aveda, v'chichesh ba, v'nich ba, al shaker, al achat mikol asher ya'ase, ha'adam, ladonai, lachato, v'hena, Vahayaki yecheta vaasham venish vache shiv et hagzela asher gazal o et haoshek asher ashak o et hapikadom asher hufkad achat o et haaveda asher matza. That's your last word. Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Asher Nosan Lanu Torah Semes, Bechaye Olam, No Tabas Ochenu, Baruch Ata Adonai, No Sein Atorah. Amen. Kisses and hugs. Good job. Yashikach, Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov. I'm on this Amen. side now, so I can hold. No, not yet. Hold on. I'm going to go down first for a sec. Of all the things that she's done so far, this may not, in some sense, be the hardest, but it's the most important thing. The most important, yeah, breathe. <laughs> the most important moment of a, of a bat mitzvah ceremony is the moment when she gets called up to bless the Torah. More important, even, than the reading of the Torah, the leading of the service, is the blessing of the Torah. Um, so we call, Ta'amod Miriam bat ha-mitzvah. Your first word. Baruch et Adonai Hamvora. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach leOlam vaEd. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach leOlam vaEd. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech haOlam. Asher Bachar Banu Mikol haOlamim. Venat salanu et torato, Baruch ata adonai, Natain ha Torah. Amen. O Mikol asher yishava alav, la shaker. Vishilam achat berosho, Vahamishitav yasef. A love, la share. Who lo yit nanu bayom ashmato. Vet ashmo yevi ladonai ail to mean mean hat son, but er kachal la asham. El hakohain vichi per a love hakohain leafne adonai vinislach lo al achat mikol asher yase. La Ashma Va. Kiss that word. <laughs> Kiss that word. Okay. That was the end of your thing. Give me this. So you don't poke your eye out. <laughs> Close up. Baruch Adonai Hamburach Lulam. Baruch Ata Adonai El Hainu and Melacha Ulam. Asher Natalanu Torat Emet. Vachaye olam benata vitochenu baruch atadunai natain hat Torah. Amen. Ah, man is right. She did a great job. What are we so worried about? All right, Jordy and the dressing crew we need. So Jordy and is coming up to lift and what? Who's coming up with them? There he is. Okay. 
Andrew, Matthew, Will, everybody coming up. All right, not the other Andrew, <laughs> cousin Andrew. All right, let Jordy in. Everyone else, we're on page 145. Yeah, good. Slide down. Stand up, please. Vizota Torah, Asher Samoshe, Lifne Vene Israel, Hapi Hadonai, Bayad Moshe. You may be seated. We're going to take and tighten these. Get together. Billy, even on the bottom. You don't do this. You go read. No, they're I'll waiting for you. <laughs> no, they're waiting for you. You do that. She's okay. going to read the English of the Torah portion. My Torah selection is from the book of Leviticus, starting with chapter 5, verse 17. And a person who, without knowing it, sins in regard to any of the Eternal's commandments about things not to be done and then realizes guilt, such a person shall be subject to punishment. That person shall bring to the ram, to the priest, a ram <laughs> with a blemish, is that blemish from the flock or the equivalent as a guilt offering? For the error committed unwittingly, the priest shall make atonement on behalf of that person who shall be forgiven. It is a guilt offering. Guilt has been incurred before the eternal. The eternal one spoke to Moses saying, when a person sins and commits a trespass against the eternal by dealing deceitfully with another in the matter of a deposit or a pledge or through robbery or by defrauding another, or by finding something lost and lying about it. If one swears falsely regarding any of the various things that someone may do and sin thereby, <clears throat> when one has thus sinned and realizing guilt, would restore either that which has gotten through robbery or fraud or the entrusted deposit or the lost thing that was found or anything about which has swore falsely. That person shall repay the principal amount and add a fifth part to it. Then that person shall bring to the priest, as the penalty to the eternal, a ram without blemish from the flock, or the equivalent as a guilt offering. The priest shall make atonement before the eternal on behalf of that person, who shall be forgiven, for whatever was done to draw blame thereby. The Haftar selection from this week is from the book of Isaiah. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech alam asher b'achar b'nevi'im tovim v'ratzav adivrehem ha'ne'emarim ba'emet Baruch ata Adonai ha'bocher b'atorah u'v'moshe avdo u'v'nevi'im amo like when I pour water on thirsty soil and streams on dry ground, so will I pour my spirit on your descendants, my blessing upon your offering. They shall flourish among the grass like willows by flowing streams. One shall say, I am the Eternals, and take the name Jacob. Another shall write for the Eternal on his hand and shall be known as Israel. Thus the eternal God, Israel's sovereign and redeemer, the God of heaven's host, I am the first, I am the last. There is no God but me. Who is like me? If there is someone, declare it, proclaim it, confront me. Since I founded the ancient people and created things yet to come, let them foretell what they shall be. Do not be afraid, do not tremble. You are my witness. Did I not tell you from of old? Did I not declare it? Is there any God or power but me? I know of none. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Sur kol haolamim, Tzadik b'chol hadorot, Ha'el ha'neman, Ha'omer ve'oseh, Ha'medaber u'mekayem, Shekol devarav, Emet vat sedek, al ha Torah, ve al ha avoda, ve al ha neviim, ve al yom ha Shabbat hazeh, shenatata lanu, 
Adonai Eloheinu, Likdu Shabalim Enucha, Lichavod Ultifaret, Al Hakol, Adonai Eloheinu, Anachnu Mordim Lach, Umevarchim Otach, Yit Barach Shim Habafi Kolchai Tamid Leolam Vaed, Baruch Adonai. Mekadesha Shabbat. Gently toss. Gently, gently, gently. Gently, gently. 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 These are peppermint people. Gently, gently. <laughs> zoom out, zoom out. No. Hey, watch it, Cole. back. Torah is back. <laughs> Brother. Ooh. Cole. You get an extra one on him when his, his turn. Yeah. I need anyone 13 or under to come up and help or under 13. Anybody? Come up and grab I'm some this. candy and clean up this mess. You got the candy. Go ahead. Get the candy. Go clean ahead. up the mess. No, you're not. Hey guys, I got to get in here for a sec. Watch your head. Watch your head. Watch your head. Watch your head. <laughs> These are peppermints, people. You need to throw them gently. <laughs> hey. You ready for an instant replay? Hey. Careful, guys. <laughs> Coming up. Watch out for money. Yeah, that one hurt. What? <laughs> Thanks. You have a problem when you tell them to overhand. See the open chandelier? One hit my head. We didn't hit it. Should I just throw them off the stage? No. Okay. Huh. Dude. My head. Take it all. Thank you. That's just exciting. <laughs> Anything hit the arc? No. Still intact. At this point, Lauren's going to take another. It's almost over. Just relax. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you, but look at you. You're still like, <laughs> relax. <laughs> shoulders down. She has some important lessons she wants to tell you about what she learned from her Torah portion and something really special about herself. My Torah portion Slowly. is about giving sacrifices to please God. It says that there are mainly five different things that you can offer. Wheat, two doves, a goat or a sheep, or a cow. All of these things must have no blemish on them, meaning it must all be perfect. Once you have decided what to bring, you bring it to the tabernacle and let the priest prepare your offering in a certain way. In other words, it was the time where you gave the best of what you had for a higher purpose. Thankfully, those traditions from that time have changed. We no longer have a temple in Jerusalem, which is the only place where sacrifices were to be made, and we no longer have to sacrifice our animals to please God. We can now show our love for God and others through prayer, tzedakah, and modern-day mitzvahs. For example, I went to a friendship house to play and spend time with some of the children there. They were very excited to see a new face, to come and teach them new things. We went outside where I taught them, where I taught them how to draw, and to have a jump rope contest. It was a great feeling for all of us. The only thing that was sacrificed was a little of my time. Another example is when I walked around my entire neighborhood collecting canned goods for the food bank. Hmm. Doing such a good deed and knowing it was good, he was going for a higher purpose. <laughs> I'm winded just listening to you. How can anybody, how can anybody hear that fast? Doing such a good deed and oh. knowing it was good and it was going for a higher purpose made it special. Yay. <laughs> when you take the time to do something right, you will not just please God, you'll please yourself as well. 
My family has always taught me that it is good to give to others. Even if not, you can afford, not afford, to actually buy things to give away, you can always give of your time. And you can do either of those things to help me with my mitzvah projects. My projects involve helping the children at the Friendship House and animals at the local shelters. A large portion of my own monetary gifts will be given to each of these organizations as well. My goal is to collect items that will help those in need. For the Friendship House, I'm asking for gently used games, DVDs, arts and craft projects, and supplies. For the animals, I'm looking for donations of dog treats, gently used blankets, towels, kennels, and dog toys. You can bring any of those items here, and I will personally take them to their designated place. Or if you like to, would like to get personally involved with either of my projects, don't be afraid. The children love to see new faces, and the dogs love to lick them. I feel that this mitzvah project is a good way of thinking of others and relates very well to my Torah portion. We please God, ourselves, and the people around us by giving up things for a much higher purpose. Thank you to all of my friends and family for being here today. I appreciate all of the support you have given me during this special time. To all my teachers, thank you for helping me understand the impossible. <laughs> Cousins Matthew, Will, Peyton, and Parker, Cousin Andrew, and Jordy. Being the only girl cousin isn't always easy. <laughs> Thanks for always including me on the fun we have when we get together and visit. <laughs> <laughs> Aunt Leslie, I'll never forget the time you came to help us serve at the Salvation Army for Thanksgiving lunch, or the time you took me on a motorcycle ride and we, you know, crashed in the backyard. No big deal. Aunt Jennifer, I love when we get to get together. Your laughter is contagious. It's always a lot of fun when we come down to visit and get a family softball game going in the front yard. Thank you both for making the trip to be with me today. I love you both. Let's see, where is he? Great Grandpa Turner. <laughs> I know we don't get to see each other a lot, but you are here now, and I'm so happy that you made the journey. I love you very much, and I can't help but picture great grandma smiling as she watches from above. Grandma and Grandpa Turner. <laughs> I love getting to visit y'all in Alabama, going to the beach, watching movies, boat rides, and eating grandma's famous chocolate cake make for some really great memories. I love you both, and thank you for being here. Nina, oy vey, <laughs> y'all are always there for me. Nina, you help me get to all of my after school activities, which also helps mom out too. <laughs> Give me advice and bake the best chocolate chip cookies in the world. I always look forward to go picking blueberries with y'all during the summer, and I'm so glad you have finally gotten the hang of how to work an iPod, well, sort of. <laughs> Papa, you were the one who inspired me to play the piano, and I promise I'll continue to play. And thank you for always letting me eat on the couch, even when Nina says no. <laughs> Nina, you didn't hear that. I love you both very much, and I'm so thankful for y'all and all that you do for me. Reed, <laughs> you are the best little brother I could ever have. You are always there for me when I'm too lazy to get up to get something. <laughs> even when I practice softball in the front yard. You're always there to catch the ball and run after it when it rolls down the street towards the drain. <laughs> you will always be the bestest guitar player any day you play your guitar. I love you. Cole. <laughs> you are the best middle brother I could ever have. Every time something bad happens to me, you're always there to back me up. I always remember the fun times we have no matter where we are. I can't say any of our good memories because there are too many. And yes, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, right, Warren. <laughs> but this time, I mean it, Cole. I love you. Oh. <laughs> you're welcome. Dad, don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> Where can I begin? <laughs> you teach me new things every day. I love your funny jokes and the way you're always energetic. You're the best Mariah Carey personator, I know. <laughs> Your singing, too, is pretty wonderful. You also do great impressions of almost anything. I also need to thank you for taking me hunting. 
even though when I was little, all I wanted to do was explore. <laughs> and now this one, I have to say thank you. Thank you for watching all of my YouTube videos I shove in your face. <laughs> even though you end up liking them in the end, I love you. Where'd it go? I figured you might need this. <laughs> Where can I begin with you and me? Thank you for, well, everything, from dragging me into stores and getting me anywhere. You have always been there. I still remember that funny moment at home when we were all really busy and you said, water bottle, <laughs> instead of water bottle, <laughs> or when you daydream over Timothy Oliphant, or sympathizing with you when Keith Urban, when Keith Urban cut his hair. <laughs> but anyways, you helped me with over a bazillion things. I have to give you credit for this one. She puts up with my love for One Direction. Oh, that's pretty good. If it wasn't for you, heck, I wouldn't be even wearing this dress right now. <laughs> heck, I wouldn't even have any good clothes. <laughs> you were always there for me to give me advice on clothes, <laughs> boys, and how to, keep my, how to keep my room clean. <laughs> it still isn't. I'm sorry. Aww. I don't know what I would do without you, especially on this day. I love you, and thank you for all of your effort to make this happen. Don't cry. <laughs> Same goes for you, Too and late. you, and you, and all of you. It's okay. Rabbi, uh -oh. I didn't write this down because I had it memorized. <laughs> oh. Ever since I came to B'nai Zion, you have always been that one rabbi who always helped anyone no matter what the difficulties. Even when I was saying a letter wrong, saying a word wrong, you'd always help me, and even with fun songs about ice cream. Oh. <laughs> At Camp Kai, you have always been there to help me with new songs and learning Hebrew. Even today, you've helped me with all of this and reading every single word of the Torah. I want to thank you for every moment that I've had here over the, well, 13 years. Uh -huh. <laughs> thank you, and I love you. I love you. I'm very proud. I love you. She's almost done. <laughs> How's it feel? Aunt Jen, don't cry. <laughs> Everybody's going to cry. It's yeah, happiness. I know. They're not sad. They're happy. Don't stop I know. It. We're supposed to be happy. At this point in our service, we're going to get ready to return the Torah to the ark. Um, we continue on page 146. Grab a prayer book. I am going to call Grandma and Grandpa and Great Grandpa Turner up to the help us do this. On page 146. And once again, the ark will be open, so I'm going to invite you to please rise when the ark is open. You have a moment. i got to get up here. That was really good. <laughs> All the stuff was true. I know, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Them bones will rise. That's <laughs> when the ark is open, please rise in the middle of page 146. Open it. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Let us praise the eternal God whose name alone is exalted. God's teaching is perfect, reviving the soul. God's word is unfailing, making wise the simple. God's precepts are right, delighting the mind. God's mitzvah is clear, giving light to the eyes. God's doctrine is pure, enduring forever. God's guidance is true and altogether just. Behold, a good doctrine has been given you, <laughs> my Torah. Do not forsake it. It is a tree of life to those who <laughs> hold it fast, and all who cling to it find happiness. Its ways are ways of pleasantness, and all its paths are peace. When the 
ark is closed, you may be seated. Thank you. You can kiss and hug her if you need. Thank you. That's always allowed. <laughs> so now that you made them cry, mom and dad get to come up and try to make you cry, I guess. I oh, no. Know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm an ugly crier. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad to hear that. We're streaming it. I hope I can get through it without crying. <laughs> Thirteen years old. Although we knew this day would come, we never expected it to get here so quickly. I still remember taking you to Mother's Day out when you were just one year old. As soon as I got in the car, I called Daddy crying because it saddened me to leave you. And he asked, well, was she okay when you left? <laughs> And you were. It was just me. <laughs> then came time for kindergarten. And on the first day, with tears beginning to roll down his face, <laughs> Daddy walked you to your class. He tried to hold on to you. However, without ever looking back, you walked on in the classroom all by yourself, ready to begin your day. <laughs> independent, independent, <laughs> fearless, and relentless, always ready to take charge of whatever comes your way, always willing to take on any task at hand. There has never been any project or challenge that has ever been too big for you. You have shown us the true meaning of being able to accomplish anything if you just set your mind to it. You are kind, caring, and compassionate, ready to defend yourself and others if they are not able to do so on their own. You look forward to helping others, always ready to volunteer. Never once do we hear, I don't want to go, when we go serve lunch to others during the holiday season. And last year, while playing softball, you wanted to pitch. You and Daddy had been practicing a lot, but only half the distance to home plate. Come game time, though, you insisted on being on that pitcher's mound. <laughs> your coach loved your determination, your motivation, and she put you out there. And although not all your pitches were perfect, you did it. You made it across that home plate, just like you did today. Daddy and I are so very proud of you and all your accomplishments. Continue to step up to the plate. Continue to try again, no matter how many times someone tries to get you out. And continue to put one foot in front of the other and round all those bases in life. We love you. Lauren, this is our blessing for you. May God bless you and guide you. Be strong for the truth. Charitable in your words. Just and loving in your deeds. A noble heritage has been entrusted to you. Guard it well. May God inspire you to live in the tradition of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who carried forward the life of our people. I think I just made your shoulder wet. <laughs> That's what toluses are for. I forgot to tell you that. No, can I do that? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> you gave away your tissues. Go get the tissues. Toss up the tissues. We need the tissues. <laughs> Give them back the tissues. What were you thinking, girl? <laughs> Thank you. Here's a mascara. <laughs> That's the our mascara is running. Welcome to being a woman. I think that's what I mean. now, now you know what it was all about. We now call up the president for life of the brotherhood. Yeah, all the presidents stood up, but this one's brotherhood first. We have the congregation has gifts because she is an important part of our congregation, and we want to show her how important she is. Come sit, dude. Come on, Cole. I got a tough follow up. Here, to, do I need, need this? Yes, my no, voice? But we're, you gotta put, you gotta Usually my there. voice covers. You got to do it anyway. For those of y'all that have been here 
part of being for life is I have a little bit of a standard speech about how this prayer book ties these people, the, the, our bot misfit to the community, and that no matter where they go, it's something that always binds in this community. And today it's kind of interesting because we've acknowledged this is the first bar of bat mitzvah in our renovated new sanctuary. And so as I'm thinking about it, this is also a contract that in 13 years we're going to have to come back and have a bar of bat mitzvah for the sanctuary. That's right. That's right. And she can It's an anniversary. Yours. And this is the first bar of bat mitzvah in it. You and the prayer book are going to have to come back okay. and participate. Mm -hmm. So with that, we give you the prayer book. And mazel tov. Thank you. Thanks. Good idea. Can we schedule that now? Sure. All right. <laughs> We're good. I would now like to call up the present president of the Sisterhood for Life and the previous president of the Sisterhood for Life uh, to come up and give you a gift. Present Bethany and past is Harriet. <laughs> Lauren, I have had the pleasure of knowing you and watching you grow up since the very day you were born. During these 13 years, you've had a lot to say and <laughs> a lot of special things that you have done. Everything you've done and said has been very special and important to you. Even when you were a toddler, you would come to our house with your Nina Sharon and you would especially like to talk to my husband, Jay. You would, you would say with all kinds of enthusiasm and hands and, and animation, you would say, Jay, and then you would rattle off everything that you had in your mind to say. The problem was that none of us knew what you were saying. <laughs> It sounded a little bit like a different language to us because at that age you didn't have the words to go with what you were wanting to say, but we knew it was important to you and we agreed. Today, fast forwarding 13 years to you today, some of us in this room who are not proficient in Hebrew or even familiar with Hebrew had a similar feeling. <laughs> we, we didn't know exactly what you were saying when you read to us in Hebrew. You read words that had letters that looked like little pictures. <laughs> you read to read from right to left, and like the rabbi said, with no punctuation and no vowels, and you did it. And fortunately for us, you not only translated it, but interpreted the Torah portion and its meaning to you and this this very day in your life. And we would all agree that this was very special and very important. But wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I didn't know you when you were an infant, but <laughs> I can say that now as then, you're an excellent communicator. <laughs> and you use your words to reach out to others, make them feel included and comfortable, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> That's why all these people are here. Um, and I just wanted to cite an example because Harriet and I were doing a little sort of shuffle about who was going to uh, give the presentation <laughs> to Lauren because we both felt she's such a special person Aww. and it would be such an honor. And Lauren had the idea that we should both do it. <laughs> and she had the good idea and then she communicated the good idea and we're so uh, pleased about that. So together, we're <laughs> proud to represent the Women of Reform Judaism and B'nai Zion Sisterhood, and to give you these Shabbat candlesticks for you to use in good health, and we hope they remind you of this day and of your B'nai Zion family. Trust me, they will. Congratulations. <laughs> Trust me, they will. <laughs> good job. Yeah. Fall down. <laughs> okay. And next, we have the president of our congregation, Mr. Craig Toys. So, did you have fun? Yeah. Because you look great up here. Thank you. It does. And, and did you really enjoy it? Yeah. You want to do it again next week? Yeah, no. we're ready. Oh, what? Man. I was that means count, it, counting on it. Do you it. understand how hard it was to read from that Torah? This is, this is one of the best parts of this whole job as being president is I get to stand up here. and But this one really has the special, an extremely special, almost as special as when my children were up here because 
we've all talked about this sanctuary model. This building was 50 years ago. We were downtown before that and another building before that. And the fact that you are the first one here to commemorate your bat mitzvah and the fact that we've built this for the next 50 years so that your children and your grandchildren can be up here and know that this is their home also. And you go, oh, that's so far away. But it wasn't that far away 100 <laughs> years ago. It wasn't that far away when my grandfather, Max, and her great-grandfather, Izzy, with their sister, Mary, and their mother, Pearl, came over because their, their father and husband, Sam, had settled in Shreveport over 100 years ago. And that her grandfather, okay. I'm sorry, her <laughs> grandfather, her father, is here now. And because of the struggle and the determination, and I can only imagine, based on their stories, what they went through, that are putting us together here now and for our future. It's huge that this family, this beautiful family, you're a beautiful woman. Thank you. But look at your mother and your grandmother and the rest of your family. You had wonderful genes. And your dad's not <laughs> bad looking either. <laughs> you know? He, you know he, let's be honest. Well. It's, it's, it's a beautiful, 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 beautiful tradition. It's extremely special. Your place here in Shreveport on this beam right here is not by accident. And it was because of the huge shoulders that we had before us that we're both standing here now. We had huge shoulders to stand on. And I'm confident that your future will be nothing but as spectacular as ours has been. And we look forward to seeing you in many, many more wonderful blessings. And maybe your wedding, and maybe your kids bar bat mitzvahs here. It'll be here before you know it. We're so, so very, very kids. proud of you. We love you for so many different reasons. I'm telling you, I know, it's, it's, it's here. So, to commemorate that, we have this wonderful bat mitzvah certificate. And I love to say it's suitable for framing. <laughs> and you can have that to keep and to remember this day. But we'll all remember this day for so many, many different reasons. We also have a wonderful gift certificate that hopefully you'll take advantage. And where this Jerusalem stone from Hebron was brought to the United States to give us a piece of our history, to remember where we came from and where we're going. Hopefully someday maybe you'll be able to go to Israel and see what this replicates. And this gift certificate will help you make that journey toward it. And we hope that you take advantage of that opportunity in the future. Mom, Dad, what do you say? Take them with you. They're ready. They're ready. All right. We're so very proud of you. I get to give you a hug. God bless you. And I, Craig, you could come and talk to the people now. You I get to sit down. To okay, yeah, you get oh. to sit down. <sighs> it is incredibly wonderful to have you all here. It's a special honor and privilege to have you here and for me to be standing in front of you. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. We have this wonderful clock back there now, <laughs> which we never had before. And it's like it really works. Uh, we have around noonish a kiddish luncheon in Lauren's honor is being hosted by Sharon and Elliot Goldman and Amy and Brent Turner by her grandparents and parents right down here in Lefkowitz Hall. Go out, take a right. You can't miss it. Just follow the crowd. <laughs> follow your nose. Remember to switch your clocks for daylight savings time by springing ahead an hour on Saturday night so you won't be late for Sunday school tomorrow, right? Right. Next Friday night, March 14th, we will celebrate Purim during services with a fun Megillah spiel. Come in costume or at least wear your favorite sports team colors. Next Saturday night, March 15th, the Gudath Achim has invited us to participate in their covered dish, which begins at 6.15 with a Megillah reading. Purim, Purim, yay. <laughs> Next Sunday, March 16th, from 10.30 to 1, we will have our community Purim Carnival with fun for all kids of all ages and food for everyone. There will be no religious school that morning so that everyone can come and celebrate Purim together. The last weekend of the month, on Friday, March 28th, we will have an essentially English service and use the Union Prayer Book, the old little blue book. That weekend, on Saturday morning, we will have a Tot Shabbat and see if we can gently boing <laughs> around the new sanctuary. Pre-readers and their families and anyone else who wants a fun service should join us from 9 to 9.30 a.m. and watch the revelry. 
Donations were made to B'nai Zion or for pulpit flowers in loving memory of Lalette Black by Martin, Palmer, and Jerry and John Black, in loving memory of Zelda Goulder by Kathy Plant, in loving memory of Mary Louise Levy by Ann Cantor, Robert and Judith Levy and family, in loving memory of Celia Murov Sider by Marcia Katzenstein and family, and in loving memory, nope, in, in honor, honor of, of... I'm still alive. <laughs> we were worried God. about you for a second. Though. In honor of Lauren Turner. Why? I don't know. <laughs> By Sharon and Elliot Goldman, Ann and Brent Turner, Diane and Steve Turner, Leslie Browning, and family. Thank you all so very much. Thank you. You're not quite... Craig, take this with you. Thank Give you. that oh, back to Virginia. Um, she's almost done. Now I get to say some things to her. Come here. You're done with the, the important part. Okay. You just still have to stand there and look pretty. So your Torah portion was about sacrifices, and you talked about that, and I liked what you said about sacrifices. is isn't necessarily about giving money. It's sometimes giving of your time, and that you always feel better because you've done something worthwhile. And you do a lot of worthwhile things, and you've heard about some of them, and you're here because you're here because you know about some of the things she's done. But the Torah portion that she selected, the Torah portion is this long, and she got to choose this much of it <laughs> to read to you tonight, today. The Torah portion, the part that she selected, was a part that had to do with the reason that you give this offering. And the reason that you give the offering in the section she read had to do with what if you, what if you don't keep a commandment and you didn't know, what happens? So Lauren has learned a little bit about that. Lauren had an experience, for example, that just happened recently. What? What? where she did not know because she wasn't in class. Wow. Yeah, you don't have to watch this part. She didn't know that there was gonna be a test the next day. And she got there that morning and there was a test and she went to the teacher and said, do I have to take the test? And the teacher said, of course, it's a test. And she takes the test and she did not study and she did not do well. And that's one of those situations <laughs> like this. You don't know something is happening and you wind up not doing well. <laughs> and the same thing is gonna happen. Well, and so there was a, a an appropriate consequence to this. She got a terrible grade. Her parents were appropriately not so happy, took away her <laughs> phone for a little while and other kinds of appropriate things. But the teacher let her do a makeup. And how well did you do on the makeup test after you studied? 100. See, so what happens is sometimes in life you accidentally make a mistake and there's often forgiveness in there and that helps to know. And the same thing happens, you are now an adult, according to Judaism, yeah. which doesn't mean you can drive a car or get married yet and have those babies that Craig was talking about. <laughs> it doesn't mean those things yet, but it does mean you are responsible for the commandments in the Torah. Do you know all 613 commandments? No. Well, okay, so the point is, I don't know how many people in this room know all 613 commandments, and the point is, that's what happens, you learn. And so she's also already learned that sometimes there are commandments that you break that you didn't know were a commandment. And when we chose this Torah portion, she liked it because she liked knowing that there was a way of getting forgiveness for doing something wrong that you didn't know was wrong. And she loved that, and she's already experienced that. So part of it was the concept of consequences, and she's taken that, and she understands that. She does better than most people I know dealing with consequences. But it's also about responsibility and recognizing that once you figured out that you made a mistake, you take the responsibility and you do what have to, you have to to make it right. But there was another thing I wanted to point out. You did say today that we no longer have those sacrifices, thank goodness, because nobody that I know wants us to be sacrificing our little baby animals. Mm -hmm. But what, especially since her project, as you know, <laughs> is taking care of people and taking care of animals. I wanted to give you a little lesson about that that I realized. When we were giving the offerings to God, it wasn't that God really wanted us to burn little baby animals. That's not what God wanted. I'll tell you the part that God did like, and I think you, could, you can relate to this. Every time it talked about God and accepting these offerings, it said that what God liked was reach nichoach. Can you say it? Reach nichoach. The reach nichoach was the pleasing odor that what God liked wasn't the offering itself, it was the pleasing odor. So often, there are consequences to things that we do. I think that that's likened to what you said in your, in your lesson today, that it's not about the things that you're giving away, it's about those smiling faces <laughs> that you saw, and that those kids 
love to see the smiling faces, that the dogs... Love to lick them. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so the fact is that the things that you do have ripples, and they affect many things, mm -hmm. kind of like the wafting odors of a delicious barbecue or something. Oh. As Craig said, follow your nose to Lefkowitz Hall. <laughs> so with that, I now ask everyone to please turn to page 148. A new one. Lauren and I will open the ark. We're supposed to be doing the Alenu prayer, but before we do that, I have a blessing that I have to say for Lauren in front of the ark. I wanted to point out something important for, for this. Step out here for a second. The congregation chose the tree of life design for the ark. And it is, we're told that the Torah is like a tree of life. And Lauren's talit that she just received for her birthday is a tree of life talit, which is very appropriate. And by the way, it says on here, it is a tree of life to those who hold it fast. You can turn around, you wanna turn around, go ahead, let's see, lovely, lovely, yeah, and put it back on. But it is also that she is a tree of life to those who hold fast to her. She is a tree of life. All of those things. So we will be blessing her in front of the Torah. So help me open. Please rise. That's your Torah, my dear. This one, by the way, says it is a tree of life. And you're going to be facing the congregation, right? Okay, yeah. May God bless you. May God protect you. May the light of God's face shine on you. Be gracious to you. May God's face always be lifted up to you. May God grant you peace. Now we turn to page 148 for the Aleinu. Oh, we're going to do it. Aleinu l'shabeach la'adon hakol La'tet gedula liot seher breshi Shelo asanu kigoye haratzot Velo samanu kemishpachot ha'adama Shelo sam chelkenu kahem Vigor aleinu kichol ha'monam Va'anahachnu koreim Umishtachavim humodim Lifne melech malachi hamlachim Hakadosh baruch hu And in the middle of page 149 we continue V'neemar v'haya Adonai L'melech ha'kol ha'aretz B'ayom ha'hu B'ayom ha'hu Yeye Adonai when the ark is closed, you may be seated. We continue on page 151. And before we turn to, in every joyous situation, we also have, we remember, we, we remember those who have gone before us. Before we continue the section about the Kaddish, I am sad to report that we lost two Americans this week fighting for our country. We lost Lance Corporal Caleb L. Erickson, who served in the Marine Corps and was 20 from Minnesota. We lost Master Sergeant David L. Poirier, who served in the Air Force and was 52 and from Rhode Island. Um, he died the day after his arrival at the airbase in Qatar. May their legacy be a better world, their memory a blessing, their loved ones consoled, and may we be forever grateful. I read those names before I go to the memorial service because our tradition is that we don't say Kaddish for them until they've been buried and they have not yet returned to our soil. And I'm sorry also to report that we lost a member of our congregation last night. Carol Birchfield passed away last night, and the funeral will be on Monday, but it hadn't been determined, determined the time. It's going to be at Osborne Funeral Home Monday morning. We continue on page 151. Our thoughts turn to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people, and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. As we remember them, 
Let us meditate on the meaning of love and loss, of life and death. I invite you to turn to page 152. When cherished ties are broken and the chain of love is shattered, only trust and the strength of faith can lighten the heaviness of the heart. At times, the pain of separation seems more than we can bear, but love and understanding can help us pass through the darkness toward the light. Out of affliction, the psalmist learned the law of God, and in truth, grief is a great teacher when it sends us back to serve and bless the living. We learn how to counsel and comfort those who, like ourselves, are bowed with sorrow. We learn when to keep silence in their presence and when a word will assure them of our love and concern. Thus, even when they're gone, the departed are with us, moving us to live as in their higher moments they themselves wished to live. We remember them now. They live in our hearts. They are an abiding blessing. However brief may be our time on earth, O God, you endow our fleeting days with abiding worth. We now recall the loved ones whom death has taken from us during the past 30 days. We remember Marcia Sinclair. Is anyone here remembering someone who died within the past 30 days? We remember Nell Ellis. Has anyone here lost a parent in the last 11 months? Couldn't you call out a name? My mother, Betty we remember Betty Turner. I couldn't hear you. Say it louder. Bon Bonnie, thank you. Those for whom we're observing your sites this week include Moses Asher, Lolly Black, Mabel Frank, Bodenheimer, Jim Dawson, Samuel Dreyfus, Jack Gold, Rachel Goldenberg, Zelda Golder, Sarah A. Greenberg, Norman Cal, Sadie Katz, Ella B. Cranson, Charles Lipo, Mary Louise Levy, Solomon L. Meyer, Dora Mauerman, Hugo Nagy, Minnie River, Hilda W. Roth, Bernard Siegel, Celia Murov Sider, and Rebecca Willer. In our congregation, our tradition is that we remember your sites that have occurred, the anniversary of the death, have occurred from last Sunday until today. Is anyone here observing a commemoration of an anniversary for this year at, during this week? In this moment of memory, our griefs and sympathies are mingled. Loving God, we rise as together we praise your name. The Mourner's Kaddish is found pa on page 154. The translation is found on page 155. You'll find that our tradition is that when we remember those who have gone before us, we remember by praising God. Yitgadal v'yitkadash shemei rabba ve'alma divra chirute v'yamlich malchute v'chayechon u'v'yomechon v'chaye d'chol beit Yisrael ba'agala u'vizman kariv v'imru amen yehe shemei rabba mevarach la'alam u'lalmei almaya yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitromam v'yitnase v'yithadar v'yithale v'yithalal shemei d'kudsha v'rechu L'eilam in kol birchata v'shirata, tush b'chata v'nechemata, da'amiran be'alma v'imru amen. Yehe shalama rabba min shamaya v'chaim aleinu v'akol Yisrael v'imru amen. Ose shalom b'mromav, hu yase shalom, aleinu v'akol Yisrael v'imru amen. May the source of peace send peace to all who mourn and comfort to all who are bereaved. Amen. P please be seated. And I need Cole and Reed up here, please. What? And can you, can Peyton and Parker come up and join you? Yes. Peyton, Peyton and Parker. Parker, would you come up and help us too, please? Come on up, come to the center. Before we can eat all of the delicious food, we're going to say a blessing. And um, I think if you wanted to look for it, I think the blessing is actually on page 166. Okay, guys, ready? Go. We give thanks to God for bread. Our voices rise in song together as our joyful prayer is said. Baruch atarnai Eloheinu melech alam Hamotzi lechem in haaretz. Te'avon. 
you go, Parker. Yeah, There's more challah for you outside. This is the ones that the kids get to touch. <laughs> awesome. Please rise for the closing benediction. Oh, so relieved. You are relieved. That's good. Now we get to have some real Shabbat rest and some joy. It is a blessing for us. I want you to look around. These are the people that you're going to remember forever and ever. These are the people we're going to remember forever and ever. We're here with us to join with us to celebrate. It is a blessing to be together. May God bless you. May God protect you. May the light of God's face shine upon you, be gracious to you. May God's face be lifted up to you. May God grant you peace. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Simen tov, mazel tov, mazel tov, simen tov, simen tov, mazel tov, mazel tov, simen tov, simen tov, mazel tov, mazel tov, simen tov. Yeah, hey, law. Take some and carry the mic. Whoa. Simen tov, mazel tov, mazel tov. You got the mic. Bye, Atkins. I'm doing. Oh, hi. What are you doing here? Good for you. Oh, good. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Yeah. Oh, good. All right. Did you enjoy it? It's different. It is. Yeah. It's very enjoyable. Yeah. Beautiful church. Oh, gosh. It's been, yeah. yeah. They renovated it. It's just really neat. Well, good to see you. Yeah. You got to make it to one of our meetings maybe I someday. Do. <laughs> I was so tired. I had four hours of sleep. And oh. I did a service in the morning. Yeah. Was like, oh, yeah. I'm not make it well, oh, well, cool. And, uh, what a good idea, Will. How did it go? Billy, well, I was, it was just me and Billy. And, and Billy, you know, she's plowing through, but she's she's, she's hurting, she's and she just, stopped. yeah, and um, and she just, it was, she wasn't able to keep track of one thing, you know, it would flip over to something about her husband, and then she flopped back, you know, she just, she wasn't focused, and um, yeah, and everything, but, uh, but she's, you know, she's plowing on through, so. Um, we're going to get the word out uh, here in March, so before the end of next week, we should have uh, the word out to some of the schools and everything they put up on their uh, websites and over there at St. Mark's. And, um, and I'm still looking for, if you know of anybody, music and movement. So anyone who teaches little kids music in schools might be someone who would know that. I, I, there was somebody who was... Uh, I know Vanessa Kelsey. I don't think I did. I know that okay. they, she might have moved. It's impossible. Yeah. impossible. She right. knows kinder music. Is that what you think? Yeah, thinking? well, yeah. something like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, anything to get some, you know, some risk for the youngest. Because what's happening is we are going to be having the week right after uh, their Bible school thing. And so a lot of uh, folks who might have older.